Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is another Royal Townie makeover and we are making over the Calientes and Don Lothario today. So I was recently told, that maybe not recently, a couple months ago, I was told the backstory, at least the Sims 4 backstory of the Calientes and Don Lothario and I had no idea about the tea. My jaw was open for like 10 minutes. If you don't know, for The Sims 4, because there are some different backstories that they have in The Sims 2 and 3. In The Sims 4, Katrina is the matriarch of the household. It says that Don Lothario is her boy toy that has recently moved in. And then their family bio says, will he be able to stay faithful though, or will he be with more than one caliente? And that is implying Katrina's two daughters, Nina and Dina. So I had to do a royal makeover of all of them. I am using the newly made over Calientes and Don Lothario that Maxis just posted. I think it might have been a couple months ago. They did a uh, like a yeah a rebrand, a rebranding. A new they gave them new faces with like more features that fit their heritage. So I did look it up. It says that from Katrina's side, the Calientes are of Arab descent. And they said from their dad's side, Dina and Nina's dad's side, that they are Hispanic and alien descent. But I did decide to go with the Arab descent as the inspiration for their outfits. And I honestly had so much fun with them. I think this is the longest I have ever spent on a makeover before. And I made sure to like 10 times the speed for you guys to otherwise this video would have been so long, but I ended up being so extra with their outfits. I used a lot of outfits from MS Sims and Maybelline store. I wasn't even planning on being this extra at first, but then I was like, oh my gosh, I just, I have to. I just want them to be so extravagant because they deserve it. I was thinking for their backstory, if they were royalty, that Katrina would 100% be the queen. I figured they would live in Oasis Springs. That's where they live in the save files. So Katrina is the queen. And then of course her two daughters, Princess Nina and Princess Dina. And Don, I thought would be a lord that comes from a wealthy noble family, but his parents have passed away and he has a gambling problem and gambled away all his money. So then he realized that he needed to get money as fast as he could. I feel like he would not have told Katrina that he lost all his money, but he was able to charm his way into her life enough to be able to move into the palace. So 100% I think Dawn is using Katrina. And if I were to play this safe file, I was looking at the traits of Nina and Dina. I think it is Nina. I think it's Nina who is the villainous Valentine, but all of them are romantic, kind of mischievous, very materialistic too. So for some reason, Nina and Dina kind of remind me a bit of the evil stepsisters from Cinderella. That's just kind of the vibes that they gave me. So I was wondering, I'm like, would they pursue Sue Dawn or would Dawn have pursued them? I'm not 100% sure, but whatever happens, I feel like he would definitely just bite off more than he could chew, I guess is the best way to say that, but he would get involved with Nina and Dina and Katrina would find out. Oh my gosh, all their names sound so similar. It's hard to keep track, but Katrina would find out and I feel like he would get kicked out of the palace, lose his reputation, lose everything he has. Katrina would just, I feel like have no mercy when it comes to that. She just seems like a badass woman. So that's probably how I would have played their family if they were to be royals in my save file. I would love to know how you guys would play them in your royal save. How would you, like would Katrina be the queen? Would you have Dawn be the king? Like how would you play and, and have them end up? I'd also really love to know who your favorite makeover is out of all of them. I spent so much time on Katrina, Dina, and Nina and like five seconds on Dawn compared to the rest of them. You guys will see in this video, I go back and forth with their hair, with their clothes, all of that so, so much. I wasn't even planning, it's a bit of a spoiler, but I gave them all the same, all the women the same sort of cape draping over their shoulders, which 
which I was very hesitant about at first because I wanted to save that just for Katrina since she's the queen. And I was like, you know what? They're all royal. Katrina, of course, has like the most like the the most extravagant getup because she is the queen. But I gave all of them this cape that I'm obsessed with. So you guys will see that in a bit. I did assume that their hair is naturally dark brown, but I only assumed that because of their eyebrows. I know that people's eyebrows can be a different color from their hair, but I wanted to play around with that. So I gave Dina some roots, like dark roots that are showing. I couldn't do that though with Nina and Katrina, but I imagine that that is their natural hair color as well. Um, so again, you guys will see me going back and forth a lot. Dawn, I ended up giving long hair, which you guys will see at the end of this video. I wasn't 100% sure about it, but I just, I thought the look fit him so, so well. So I wanted to do what I thought worked best for him and what I think would represent his character if I were to play them as a save file. Definitely let me know which one is your favorite makeover. Honestly, you guys will see it a bit, but Nina, I think is probably my favorite. I really, really love the way she turned out. I was not expecting to love her so much but I do love all of them I really never have paid attention to the Caliente family honestly or a lot of the Taudis for that matter but I had so much fun making them over if you guys have any suggestions for other townies that I should make over definitely let me know in the comments below I've done the goths Technically, I've done the land grabs, but I'm open to doing one with Johnny Zest as well because I did not include him in my first one, but that one's only on my TikTok. So I'm down to do another video for that. Um, and I have already done a video of the pancakes, so I will link those below if you guys haven't seen them yet. But again, let me know if you have any suggestions for other royals and I will leave you guys here. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the makeover. Bye.